breaking news, you two. What's got your fins a flapping? It's that time for another Splatfest. I'm sure you guys all know what the theme is. I'm very excited. I actually think it's a pretty good theme. I think all teams could be evenly split. And the theme is, what would you do at the world's end? Same old bucket list or save the day. The world's end, did I miss a bulletin somewhere in there? The options this time are same old, meaning to treat it like any other day. Or you could make a last ditch push to cross things off your bucket list. Personally, I wouldn't accept it. I'd try and save the day. Okay, now can we all talk about the world ending? Is this like tomorrow? Today? Relax, it's just a what if scenario. All right, you have me in full panic mode for a second. If the world was ending, I think Splatfest participation would be at an all time low. Well, maybe. In that case, I'd stuff myself with sweets, max out my credit cards, and live it up. If there's no consequences, you know, I'm gonna go for broke. That sounds so desperate. I'd go about my day as normal and cherish the time left. A day talking about nothing on Anarchy Splatcast would be a good way to go out. We always, we don't always talk about nothing here. There's serious stuff too. I'm not letting the world end when I have so many more songs to record. So I wouldn't give up looking for a, I wouldn't give up looking for a way to save us. All I, wait, wait, hold on. So I wouldn't give up, comma. Looking for a way to save us, all of us. Okay, there should have been a comma there. I'm so, okay. Big man with big plants. Come on, I'm serious. You don't need to poke fun. No, I was serious too. That stuff you said got me right in the heart. Still, I'll leave the world saving stuff to the experts. I gotta be true to me. Ah, uh, but they say that happiness is close to home and I happen to agree. Maybe we can find a portal to another world or something? If that's a kind of doomsday s solution you're considering, we're doomed. And that's all for now. Make sure to get your votes in. Don't forget the, your T at the terminal. Also, there's another um, extra work mode. By the time you see this, it's either happening or over. Okay. Now, what you're all here for. Alex. Oh, great sage Alex. What are you picking? I'll tell you what I'm not picking. I'm not picking save the world. The reason being, depending on the doomsday scenario, there might not be a way to save the world. And personally, if the world is gonna end, then, you know, we all have a time, it's just coming sooner. You know, at that point, it's just, I don't know, I just don't like save the world, like spending all of my last energy to try and save the world. And I'm assuming, I'm putting emphasis on try to save the day. Like, I don't think I have the skills to save the day. So I don't think me trying to save the world would actually do any good. Now, I went back and forth with this for a, lo a long time. And by a long time, I mean for like five minutes. But that's a long time for me. So, bucket list or same old. Now... I don't think a lot of you are going to appreciate my reasoning for the team that I'm going to pick. I would pick same old. And 9 out of 10 times, I pick same old. Because at the world's end, I'm just going to treat it like any other day. You know, might as well. But, I'm going to go with bucket list. There is not a lot on my bucket list. There's very few. But the things on my bucket list, I feel, are very, very important. And I would like to spend the last days of my life doing things I love with the people that I love. For example, my family. A big example, and the main reason I'm picking bucket list, is Brianna. There's so many things that we've talked about and so many things that we've said. When we have the money or the time, or like, you know, whatever, like, you know, in the future, we're going to do these things. Well, if we know that the world is going to end, and we don't have that time, depending on how much time we have, mind you, like, if, if we have five seconds, I might as well pick this, but I'm assuming, I might as well pick this. 
I'm assuming that we have at least 24 hours, bare minimum. And I'm assuming we know about it, because if we don't know about it, then I might as well pick same old, same old. But I'm assuming we know about it and we have at least 24 hours. And I would like to spend, very much to Shiver's point, happiness is where the home is. But that doesn't mean we're doing the same old, same old. I think I would go crazy. There are not a lot of consequences. The world's going to end. I'm not talking purge. I'm not talking let's go rob a bank. But I would like to go experience things with Brianna. Do things that we haven't done. Or maybe have a last minute, you know, the road trip with the family. I think it'd be nice. Because it's not the same old, same old if the family up and went to, you know, the mountains or something. I, that's a bad example. But... I might as well spend all my money and get things that I didn't think I'd have, get a credit card and buy things I can't afford because at that point, it doesn't matter. And then, it, you know, like I said, just spend time with the family and friends, mainly Brianna, doing things that, you know, in the future we will do. Well, now that we don't have time, we might as well do them now. So again, not a lot on my bucket list and a very, very cheap reason, but I'm going to go bucket list to do all the fantastic fun things with loved ones. That is what I'm picking. I know a lot of people are going same old, and I know very, very few people are actually going to pick team bucket list. But there you guys have it. My bucket list is very lame, but I feel like it's very important to do those things that I want to do in the future and will do in the future, but in this doomsday scenario, won't have time to experience. So yeah. A little bit of a somber episode today for a silly game about squid people playing paintball. But that's my reasoning. I'm going bucket list. And uh, I'll see you guys on the battlefield Friday. Um, yeah. So I think that's it. If you want to join my team, go for it. But if you pick other teams, then good luck to you. And honestly, any team that wins, I will not be mad about. If Shiver wins, if Fry wins, if Big Man wins, I do not care. This Splatfest idea, I feel like, is so good that any team that wins is a W. So, I'll get mad. I'm sure I will. I always do. I always find a way to get mad. But, it's going to be a win regardless. And all three teams are fantastic. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week for the Doomsday Splatfest.